Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the Egyptian guy and today I'm going to be showing you how to do curry chicken with potatoes. First I'm gonna show you the ingredients for the marinade. I have a cup of yogurt, the juice of two lemons, a tablespoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a tablespoon of turmeric, half a tablespoon of curry powder, half a tablespoon of paprika, half a tablespoon of cumin, and half a tablespoon of chili powder. So I'm going to be using a kilo of chicken wings, which is about 2.2 pounds. Technically with this recipe, you can use any kind of chicken, but that's all I have. Also use chicken breast, which you can cut down to bite-sized pieces. You can use chicken drums. Any piece of the chicken is fine. Also going to be using uh, three tablespoons of ghee, which is a flavorful fat. If you don't have ghee, you can substitute it for any kind of oil. Sunflower oil, corn oil, vegetable oil. Also a tablespoon of turmeric another tablespoon of curry powder, tablespoon of salt, tablespoon of cumin, tablespoon of paprika, one teaspoon of chili powder, and a teaspoon of black pepper. You can always take out the chili powder or add more chili powder depending on how spicy you like the food. Also three tablespoons of tomato paste, two small or medium sized onions, five garlic cloves, a cube of chicken broth, and six potatoes. I keep the potatoes in water so it doesn't turn brown or black. First thing you start with is the marinade. You take the yogurt, add it to the chicken, and then add all your spices. and the juice of the two lemons. Now mix all your ingredients together. Once you mix everything together, then you cover it up and you let it marinate in the fridge for 20 minutes. Start by dicing down the onion. Match my garlic. If you don't have one of these, you can always dice the uh, garlic to small bits. Now let me move my onions to another plate while I dice the potatoes. Guys, now I took the chicken out of the fridge, nice and marinated. I'm gonna start by heating my pan first. Add the ghee. Let it melt and heat up with the pan. And right now you're gonna add the chicken by a little bit at a time. You don't wanna overcrowd the pan. So you're probably going to be cooking it in like two to three batches. And 
lower the heat on the stove. Add your onions. All the flavor at the bottom of the pot is fine. Don't worry about that. If the pan is still dry, you can add a little bit more oil or a little bit more ghee. I'm just going to add about a 2 tablespoons of oil. And we got corn oil. Raise the heat up a little bit again. Back on high. Now I'm going to add my garlic. Give it a quick stir just to get the smell of the garlic out. Don't cook it for too long because the garlic burns quickly. And now I'm gonna add all the spices to get the flavor out of them. And those will cook for about 30 seconds to a minute. They cook very fast and also very, be very careful with the spices because they can also burn. Now I'm going to add the tomato paste. Now I'm going to add about half a cup of water. Give it another stir. Add my chicken stock cube. Also, I'm going to add my chicken back in. Get all the juices that's in the plate, that's all the flavor. Give it a nice stir. Now I'm going to add about two to three cups of water. Also I'm going to add my potatoes. Give it a stir to see if it needs a little bit more water to make sure that all the potatoes are covered in water. Just a little bit more water from the potato bowl to cover it just by a little bit. Let it boil and then reduce the heat to a simmer, cover it and cook until the potatoes are soft. In the meanwhile guys, while my uh, liquid comes to a boil, this is the perfect time to start your rice. Turn on the fire on high, add about 2 tablespoons of oil, any kind of oil. I'm using corn oil again, you can even use ghee. Add your rice, this is one cup, one large cup, any size cup. If you use any cup, the same cup that you put the rice in, make sure it's the one that you measure the water in. So since I'm using this cup, I'm gonna fill this cup with 2 cups of water. One cup of rice equal 2 cups of water. Give it a quick stir. Make sure that you coat all the grains of rice in oil. That way they stay fluffy and they don't stick together. It's like you're coating each grain in its own cocoon of oil. Like I said, one cup of rice equal two cups of water. So the same cup that I use for, to measure the rice is the one that I'm going to use to measure the water. One. Very easy to make. And two. Season with salt to taste. You can cover both of them to help them boil faster. 
Once both of them come to a boil, then just reduce the heat. Now that my rice is boiling, I'm going to put the heat on the lowest. And cover and let it cook for about 20 minutes or until the rice absorbs all the water. Also, my water is boiling. Cover it again. And do the same thing, also reduce the heat until the potatoes are cooked and soft. Now let's take a quick look at the rice. Perfect. And this is it guys, curry chicken with potatoes, smells so good, can't wait. I topped it with a few cilantro leaves, you can use any type of green as garnish.